Hi, in this video, we are going to learn the auto oxidation reaction of ethers, that is, diethyl ether. If ethers are stored in the presence of atmospheric oxygen, they slowly oxidize to form hydroperoxides and dialkyl peroxides. Let's write the structure of diethyl ether CH3, CH2, O, CH2, CH3. This is diethyl ether in presence of air, that is excess of oxygen, that is excess of oxygen reacts here. This is a slow process, this is a slow process. We get a mixture of 1 ethoxy ethyl hydroperoxide, that is CH3, CH2, here oxygen and in this carbon CH, here the excess oxygen will be attached, two oxygen will get attached here in this manner and here CH3. The name of this compound is 1 ethoxy ethyl hydroperoxide and the other compound we get is here one more oxygen will get at attached along with this ether oxygen. So we get CH3, CH2, O, one more O will get attached here and here CH2, CH3. Let's write the name for the structures. This is diethyl ether, diethyl ether and this is first carbon, second carbon to the first carbon one ethoxy is attached. So one ethoxy ethyl, this is hydroperoxide, ethyl hydroperoxide. And the name of this compound is diethyl peroxide. Simply diethyl. Diethyl peroxide. Okay, now let's summarize the reaction. If ethers are stored in the presence of atmospheric oxygen, that is diethyl ether, they slowly oxidize to 1 ethoxy ethyl hydroperoxide and diethyl peroxide. These are explosive in nature. So we should not store it, store the ether in the open air. Such a spontaneous oxidation of atmospheric oxidation is called auto-oxidation. Thank you.